The Air B is a 25 14 size motor and at 14 and 98 kV that means this thing is immensely powerful. John here guys and today we are talking about what is most likely the biggest motor you have ever seen. Here it is next to a 2207.5, which is already a very large motor, and it is absolutely dwarfed by it. It looks almost like a tiny motor in comparison. And the interesting thing about this is this is a collaboration between Racer Star and T Motor, as you can see, designed by T Motor right here. And as mentioned, it is 2514. That means it is 25 millimeters in you know, across and 14 millimeters high. This thing is absolutely gigantic. It is the juggernaut of motors. I'm a juggernaut, bitch. And what's significant about this? Um, well, a few things. One, yes, we've actually seen larger motors on this channel on the Beast class. Those RCN power motors were 30 something really huge motors but those motors are like 100 120 bucks a piece or more oh those x-class motors this is actually cheaper than this hyperlite 2207.5 and you would think okay that's just racer star doing their thing but ever since they have teamed up with t motor the quality has gone through the roof and this i believe is the first actual genuine release with that partnership look at the bottom of this motor it is incredibly nicely done it has a lock nut that is holding the thing and a little seated washer that sits in there absolutely beautiful the bell design is incredibly you know you can look feel those curved maggots very coggy the air gap is so small you can actually barely see through it windings look pretty nice and look at the top of this bell it has these little these very specific expertly milled cuts with little red accents on the end this is definitely inspired by some very nice racing car wheel designs and it is absolutely stunning i don't know if i've ever seen as of late something that was just so good looking. I wish I could get this motor in a 2207.5 because I'd probably just race with it. Now, because of its immense size. Now, before we go any further, let's do a little comparison close up. Here's the motor next to a 2205.5. Here it is next to a 2207.5. Here it is next to a Brother Hobby Avenger 2507. And then boom, the Air B this thing dwarfs them all um and because the price is only 18 to 20 dollars whoa what does that mean well you're not going to want to run these giant motors on a five inch so i'm going to have to build up something unique something different and i've already selected a few components here is uh this crazy vtx that actually has dual antennas um, the DJI system VTX has dual antennas. Is that any coincidence? I don't know. A uh, link for the description of all of these products are going to be below. Um, I'm also probably going to be using the Falcor 2 for this project. Uh, awesome, awesome thing. I'm not sure which ESC I'm going to go with. I may use the tried and true Racer Star $25 one and see if it withstands this. This would be the true ultimate torture test for that ESC. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some R9 um, receiver system on here. I have some of those in right now, and uh, this will be a good test of this. So the last component that needs to be selected is gonna be the frame. What frame goes with this giant motor? I think I'm gonna need something at least seven inch. Seven inch is kind of what I'm shooting for. So you guys put in the comments what you think the best seven inch frame on the market is gonna be. I'll review those and try to select something and stay tuned for a build with these giant things i cannot believe this has racer star on the bell um i remember the very first quad i built 
It was basically a variation of the UAV Features $99 build and it had Racer Star motors on there and they flew okay. They flew actually, at the time when you don't know any better, they fly great. And they actually do perform well, but the thing is the durability is just isn't there. And as soon as you crash, they kind of bend. The bearings are not that great. But this looks 100% premium. You have a very nice long um, shaft right here so you can get plenty of grip look at how it's like a it's probably three or four millimeters taller than this hyperlight right there um geez look at the thickness of the magnets of these two in comparison thick <laughs> yeah that's right i mean wow i i'm just i can't believe that somehow racists are um, teamed up with those guys over at T-Motor. So you can expect that T-Motor performance, T-Motor quality, and they've always been one of the most nicely designed motor sets. I can't believe T-Motor's not keeping this bell design for themselves. <laughs> but uh, what do you think? What do you think in the comments, guys? Stay tuned. This is gonna be an awesome project.